Hello viewers, my name is uh, Mr. Dibanjo. I want to strongly uh, welcome you to this uh, video. In this video, we are going to be discussing extensively on SOD. That is, we are going to be having a discussion, a thorough one, on uh, SOD. So, before we get it uh, started, Please, if you have not subscribed to this uh, YouTube channel, please just click the subscribe button on the channel right now. You can also like the video, comment on it, and also share the video so that uh, you help us to improve the channel by doing so. So don't just benefit from the video we you have we see on this uh, channel. <coughs> excuse me. Without uh, <coughs> excuse me, please without uh, subscribing uh, or sharing the video or liking the video so please click on the subscribe button right now and uh, as you do so may the good Lord bless you so like I said earlier we are going to be discussing uh, sword extensively as a topic in mathematics also although it's not only uh, mathematics that uh, uh, sword is not only mathematics uh, general mathematics topic it's for both uh, for general mathematics and further mathematics even in other uh, mathematics like uh, IGCSC we have sort there and host and the rest of the uh, examination so what and what are we going to be doing on sort so this are this are this is our to-do list these are the things we'll be doing in this video you're going to be tell you defining sort for us you are going to be giving us examples of swords. You are going to be telling us the rules or laws that is uh, uh, that belongs to sword or of swords. And also, you are going to be performing basic arithmetic operation with sword, such as uh, addition, subtraction, multiplica multiplication, division of swords. So we are going to be performing all the basic operation in mathematics with sword. And also, we are going to be solving why pass question on sword. All the questions that have give, they have given in the past concerning uh, that is uh, related to sword. We are going to be discussing also in this video. And uh, for each of these uh, topics, uh, what's it called? This uh, to do list, there is an assignment for for you to to do so as to. Uh, Examine yourself if you truly you have understood what you have discussed in this video. So at the end of each each of this of uh, uh, to do list, we have assignments. So like for we have like six assignments for each of the uh, section. So once you get you are done with one section and you have the assignment under it, please you can pause the video, write out the the assignment and lay your hands on those assignments. They, are, they will help you to examine yourself if truly you have understood and uh, uh, the what you have done uh, what you have been taught in this video and uh, if you really want to know whether you are right or wrong you can uh, on this on the comment section of this video you can give the answer to each of the assignment and uh, I will respond to you if you are correct or wrong as well I hope you understand what I'm trying to say now so these are the things we are going to do in this video so let's get it started uh, and uh, let's see what we can we are going to uh, let's see what we have for you on sword now let's first of all define what sword is all about and uh, how it came to be so as you know in mathematics we have different uh, types of number such as a uh, whole number we have decimal numbers we have uh, integers we have uh, uh, different types of numbers some of those numbers are we have rational numbers and we have irrational numbers so uh, we have rational numbers and we also have irrational number so what are rational numbers rational numbers are number which can be expressed as a as a as a ratio of two integers and uh, we know that the uh, integers are positive or negative whole numbers as are integers we should know what an integer is integers are positive and negative whole numbers so when we're talking about rational number we are trying to talk about fractions fraction whether 
proper or improper fraction their rational number that is can, the number that can be expressed as a fraction in the form of a over b where a and b are integers and where b is not equal to zero because if this b is equal to zero that means that make that fraction undefined so therefore any number that you can if that can be written in fractional form is called a rational number an example is 2 over 3 10 over 7 and so on any fraction you can see or you can think of they are called rational number so have you understood what rational number is what is irrational number or what are irrational numbers irrational numbers are number when expressed as decimal neither repeat nor end so they are irrational number they are the number that uh, are that are expressed as decimal and the, the number the those digits you get in the decimal they are never they are not repeated and uh, they do not end they continue they are continue they are continuous uh reoccurring uh, decimals so that's what that's those are the those are uh, irrational numbers and irrational numbers cannot be written as a ratio of two integers that we cannot express an irrational number as, as a rational number that what we are talking about there you can write an irrational number as a fraction so most numbers do not have exact roots so those number that number that does not have exact roots so they are irrational number also those number that does not have irrational that does not have a, an exact root they are also irrational number like uh, when i give you the square root of three you can't find the square root of three it does not have a, a uh, exact root uh, three is not a perfect square so that means if you press square root of three in your calculator it's going to give you a decimal numbers and the number is going to be is going to be reoccurring it's going to be repeating and it will not have an end so for an example pi if you press pi 22 by 7 in your calculator it's going to give you 3.142 and it continue like that so pi is an example of an irrational number because when you press the pi it gives you a decimal number and the, the decimal numbers are repeating and the, they do, it does not have an end so, uh, square root of 2 it's also an uh, irrational number square root of 12 square root of 3 and so on they are irrational number so it is irrational number that brought about sword so anytime you are talking about sword talk, just know that we are talking about irrational numbers so sword is same thing as uh, you are talking about irrational numbers but in this context of sword this square root you, square root you see here is what regard as sword the square root you see here is what regard as sword in this context of our uh, uh, topic you are not going to be calling it square root you are going to be calling we are going to be calling this symbol sword so anywhere you see this symbol you call it sword i hope you understand what i'm trying to say now anywhere you see this symbol you are seeing on the screen right now we call it sword in other topic in mathematics it is called square root fine no doubt about that but in this context of uh, topic we call this symbol sword i hope you can see it this symbol are called sword so like when i have this symbol and i have three inside it how do we pronounce this we pronounce it as sword three do you understand that we have this symbol which is named sword then three inside you call it sword three let's look at this as well how do we pronounce this one we have five outside and we are having this symbol we have eight inside this one will be pronounced as five sword eight five sword eight you pronounce it as five sword eight so technically we are talking about a rational number which is also a uh, sword so this symbol itself is what we call sword don't call it square root in this context we call it sword in this uh, 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 topic then this is pronounced as sort 3 and this is pronounced as 5 sort 8 i hope you understand what sort is all about now from there now that we know what sort is and how we can pronounce sort let's move to the next thing we want to talk about on sort in sort rather the next thing we want to talk about in sort are the rules of sort or the laws that guides the operation uh, with sort so we just don't do anything anyhow when it comes to sword 
there are some rules and regulation we have to follow when you are performing operation with sword the law says that when you are hungry you eat when you are thirsty you drink that's a law it's a physical law so the same thing with a uh, sword as well there are some rules and laws that you are meant to follow when you are uh, performing operation or when you are solving sword i hope you, are, you understand what i'm trying to say now just like when you know we have law of indices there are some laws that you are meant to know when it comes to indices and those laws help us to solve indices without making mistake or without uh, just gambling around we also have laws of logarithm they are there for us to, uh, to help us solve question on logarithm without just mesmerizing or doing the wrong thing so also with sword there are some rules that we are meant to know when it comes to sword and I, i'm going to be explaining them one, af one after the other to us the first rule we are going to talk about is basically on addition we have a rule that belongs to addition that is on addition of sword how do we add sword together how do we add sword together i hope you understand that that's the first law so look at the first we have here we have sword a plus sword b it is not equal to sword a plus b look at what i'm trying to say here i'm going to explain very well that is we cannot add two or more different sword together we cannot add them together an example let's regard this a here this a you are seeing here let's regard it as a a goat that means you have sword goat and uh, let's say this one is a let's call this b cat sword cat the question is in the real sense can you add a goat plus cat together in the real sense no a cat plus a goat cannot be added together they are two different things i hope you understand that so when you see this one now you can call it a a a, a goat plus a cat we cannot add it together to become a single term no so we cannot add you cannot add two different salt together it is impossible i hope you understand that so sort a plus sort b will remain sort a plus sort b forever it cannot be added together just like when you have a plus b you cannot add a plus b together it's not possible but that means a plus b same thing as what a plus b i hope you understand that concept so we cannot add sort a plus sort b together that's what this one really means that's the first law but what if when you have a goat plus a goat can you add them together it's a question i'm asking you the viewers can you add a goat plus a goat together yes we can add it together a goat plus a goat will give us two goats a sheep plus a sheep will give us two sheep so we can add so that means we can add sort of this the same sort together that's what i'm trying to say here we can add the same sort together sort a plus sort a we give us two sort a one goat plus one goat we give us two goats or one ball plus one ball we give us two balls that we are seeing here now sword a plus sword a you can see this, you can regard this one as one sword a plus one sword a so one sword a plus one sword a will give us two sword a and the reason why we can add them together is because we're having the same sword here that's why you're adding them together i hope you understand that concept let's see this one now can we add this 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 sword together can we add these two swords together it's a question yes we can add them together because this sword s this also sword s so that means they are the same sword we can add them together so how do we add them together we are having two sword x that means two balls plus three balls two ball plus three ball that gives us what five ball i hope you understand that now so that's how you can interpret it if you really want to understand it it's very simple so two sword s plus three sword s will give us five sword s look at this last one here can we add these two can we add this sword together as well yes we can add them together as well the reason that they are having the same sword this is four sword two plus sword two this is four ball plus one ball and that will give us five balls so four sword two plus two sword two give us a uh, five sword two so you should you should know the context where we can add two or more sword together i cannot add sword a plus sword b together it's so it's, it's not possible when i have sword two plus sword three can i hide them together it's a question think about it can i add sword two plus sword three together no it's not possible so two is different from so three so you cannot add them together i hope you understand that concept so five plus so ten can we add them together no we cannot add them together because they are two different swords does that make any sense to you can i add sword c plus sword six together yes because they are of the same sword that will give us two sword six 
now that we understand the first rule of sword which is to talking about addition of sword let's go to the next uh, rule the next rule is on subtraction how do we subtract two or more swords how do we subtract two or more swords sword a minus sword b is not the same thing as sword a minus b no we cannot subtract different sword just like addition we cannot have different sword we cannot subtract different sword as well does that make any sense to you yes we cannot subtract two different swords so sword a minus sword b cannot give us sword a minus b it's not possible you cannot remove a ball from a cup it's not possible if I have two ball minus one cup, can I remove them? It's not possible. So, but I can remove one cup from two cups. Two cups minus one cup will give us a cup, one cup. So, that means we can also subtract the same sword. We can su subtract the same sword, that is likely sword. We can subtract them just like we did in addition. So, we can subtract the same sword. Like this one, now you're having 3 sword y minus 2 sword y. That means I'm having 3 ball minus 2 ball. And that will give us a 1 ball, which is the same thing as sword y, uh, sword y. 3 ball minus 2 ball will give us a 1 ball. Does that make any sense to us? Yes. Can we subtract these 2 sword? We're having so 2 sword p minus 7 sword p. Is that possible for us to subtract them? Yes. We're having the same sword here. Just that uh, here you are having two of these two cup minus seven cup. You are having seven cup with you, and you are holding somebody seven cup. If you pay the person the one you are having, then you are still owing the person five cup, which is which is minus five p, minus five uh, sort p rather. So do you understand what you have done here as well? Just like your normal subtraction, two minus two minus seven will give us minus five. So. But this is in the same in the concept of sword. Now I want you to understand the concept before we move further. So two sword p minus seven sword p we give up minus five sword p. Can we subtract these two sword? Is it possible for us to subtract them? Yes, because they are having the same sword. We can subtract them. So five sword three minus two sword three we give us three sword three because this is five ball minus two ball that give us a three ball. Does that make any sense to us? Yes. Let me give another example. Can we subtract uh, sort Q minus sort P? This is the question I'm throwing to you. Think about it. Sort P minus sort Q. Can we subtract them? The answer is no. Can we subtract sort 5 minus sort 10? Is a question. The answer is no. Can we subtract uh, sort 8 minus sort 4? Not yet. No, it's not possible. Can we subtract uh, 2 minus sort 2? Two? 2 minus sort 2. Can we subtract them? No. So we can only subtract and add same likely sort. Now let me use that word. We can add and subtract likely sort. I hope you understand that now. Let's go to the next uh, law or rule. The next rule is on uh, multiplication. How do we multiply sorts? How do we multiply sort? That's the next rule. We are talking about addition, we are talking about subtraction. How do we multiply uh, sorts? So we, in this, when, when it comes to multiplication of sort, we can multiply different sorts. Whether the same sort, likely sort, or different sort, we can multiply them out. We cannot add unlikely sort. We cannot subtract unlikely sort. But we can multiply and subtract unlikely sort. In this case now, we have sort A times sort B. It will give us the same thing as sort A, B. Because A times B will give us what? A, B. I hope you understand that now. So we can s multiply two different sort. Does that make any sense to you? We can multiply two, two or more different sort. Sort A times sort B will give us sort A, B. What about the likely sort? We have sort A times sort A. That will give us a uh, A. Sort A times sort A will give us what A. If you, I don't want to, I can explain this one in terms of uh, indices, but if that's not the concept now. So you see, you know that it's a law or it's a rule that whenever I'm multiplying the same sort, it's going to give me that number without the sort. 
what do you understand? Uh, let me ask you a question. What if I give you sword 100 times sword 100? That should give us what? 100. Sword 1000 times sword 1000. That should give us 1000. Sword monkey times sword monkey. We give us monkey. Sword goat times sword goat. We give us a goat. Sword ball times sword ball. We give us a ball. So when you are multiplying the same sword, we give out that no, uh, that number in the sword without the sword. I hope you understand that concept. So if you understand that, let's try this. Uh, this uh, uh, let's multiply these two sword. We have sword two times sword three. So that same that will give us sign uh, uh, sword two times three because they are two they are different sword. So we can multiply them according to the law. So that will give us sword six. So sword two times times sword three will give us sword six. Do you understand that? Let's see this as well. What is sort three times sort three? That should give us three based on our uh, based on the rule. Do we understand that yet? Good. If you do, let's go to the next law, which is the last law, and that is for division. How do we divide swords? How do we divide sword? How do we divide sword? Look at this now. We are having sword A over B. Sword A over B. The sword is covering the, this fraction A over B. The law said that we can split them, and this one will have its own fraction. So this one, we have, this A, we have the numerator will have its own sword, and the denominator will also have its own sword according to the law. So this this can be written as sword A over sword B. So that's the law. I hope you understand this concept. Am I are you are you clear? So when you are having a sword, in that sword we are having a fraction. The law says that uh, we can. Uh, it can be written as a sword A over sword B. So in this case, now we are having sword four over nine. Are we there now? If you are smart, you can just say that what is sword of uh, four? That is two. And what is sword of three? Now nine. That is three. So, but in this concept, now you can break it down into be sword four over sword nine, and that will give us what sword four two, and what sword nine three. I hope you understand that now. So we have been able to tell, we have been able to discuss extensively the rules and the regulation or the laws guiding sort that of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I hope, I hope you understand that now. Now the next thing we are going to discuss is how do we simplify sorts? How do we simplify sort? Simplification of sort is what we are going to discuss next. Simplification of sword that's what we are going to di uh, discuss next how do we di uh, simplify sword there are some sword that are already simplified they have been simplified to the simplest form you cannot simplify them further why there are some sword that are not yet simplified to the simplest form so that means you can simplify those one further we are going to see different types of that different different kind of that rather we are good. We have some sort that are already been simplified. We have some sort that are yet to be simplified. That means we can simplify them further. Like an example, now we have this force, this sort two. There is no way you can simplify sort two again. It has that's the that's the simplest form of it. That's the minimum form of it. Sort two is same thing as sort two. You cannot simplify it further. And exa another example is sort five. Sort five you cannot simplify it further. Then uh, sort five is same thing as what sort five. Another example is sort three. Can you simplify sort three again? No, that's the simplest form of sort. Sort three. Sort six. It cannot be simplified further. That's the minimum. That's the sort six. That's the simplest form. That's the uh, the simply uh, simplest form of uh, simplification of sort six. Sort uh, seven. That's the simplest form. You cannot simplify it further. Let me give you another example. Sword 10. You cannot simplify it further. That's the minimum as well. Sword 11. Then sword 13. Sword 15. Sword 17. Sword uh, 19. Then sword 21. And so on. There are some sword that you cannot simplify further. Those are the ones I'm listening for. I've been I've listed for you right now already. They are already in their simplest form. You cannot simplify them further. An example is sword 2 sort 5 but there are some sort that are perfect square you can simplify them further there are some sort that are what perfect square that you can simplify further 4 is a perfect square 
uh, nine is a perfect square. Uh, what else? What are uh, thirty six is a perfect square. Uh, twenty five is a perfect square. Eighty one is a perfect square. Then one thirty nine is a perfect square. One forty four is a perfect square. There are some perfect square that you can find their sword as well. That's what I'm trying to say now. So you can simplify sword with perfect square. So like an example is sword four. What is sword four? Sword four is two. You can see what is square root of four in that concept. So that is two. Sword four because four is a perfect square. So you can find this. Uh, you can simplify that further. So sword four is two. Nine is also a perfect square. So what is sword nine? That's three. Uh, thirty six is a perfect square. What is sword of thirty six? That is six. 25 is a perfect square. What is sort of 25? That is 5. Are we there? I hope you understand what I'm trying to say now. 49 is a perfect square. What is sort of 49? That is 7. 81 is a perfect square. What is sort of 81? That is 9. 169 is a perfect square. What's, what is sort of 169? That is 13. 144 is a perfect square. If I ask you what is sort of 144? That is 12. Do you understand that? 220, 20, uh, 50, uh, 225 is a perfect square. What sort of 225? That is 15. And so on. So what I'm trying to say in essence, there are some sort that have, they have already been simplified to the simplest form. You cannot simplify them further. But there are some sort that are perfect square that we can simplify further. An example are the one I've given here. So you can also ask yourself, what are the other examples of a sort with perfect square? You, can, you should be able to ask yourself, like sort 400 what sort 400 that is 20 and so on what is sort 100 sort 100 is 10 because 100 is a perfect square so let's continue on simplification of sort now but there are some sort that are not perfect square and uh, they can still be simplified further i hope i'm please i want you to follow the trend the way i explain it now there are some also there are so there are some other sort they are not a perfect square but they are yet to be simplified to the simplest form that is we can simplify them further how do we simplify such sort an example is eight eight is not a perfect square or is it a perfect square no but we can still simplify sort eight uh, further then how do, do we simplify a sort that is yet to be simplified and it is not a perfect square? I want, I want you to understand the, the explanation. How do we simplify a sort that is not a perfect square and it is yet to be simplified to the simplest form? What do you do? Look at that sort. We, are, we, are simpli we want to simplify sort 8 here now. That n number we are finding is sort. Look at the two numbers you can multiply together to give us that number. The two numbers you can multiply together to give out this 8. And one of those one of those two numbers is a perfect square. I'll come again. How do we simplify a sort? How do we simplify a sort that is not a perfect square? Now, look for two numbers you can, you can multiply together to give out that number you're looking for a sort. And uh, one of the number is a perfect square. In this case now, let's look at this now. Sort 8. So the 8 is same thing as 4 times 2. So 4 times 2 rather. And which one? One of these two numbers, one of them is a perfect square, which is what? 4. So, and uh, we cannot, we will now find the sort of 4. And uh, we cannot find the sort, sort of the second one because so, so, so 2 is that is the simplest form. We cannot simplify that one further. So that means we now find sort of, we can split this one now, becoming sort of 4 times sort of 2 according to the laws of multi multiplication. Then we can now find the sort of 4, which is 2. 2 times sort 2 will give us 2 sort 2. Do you understand that now? So if I want to simplify a sort that is not a perfect square further, all I will need to do is to look for two numbers I can multiply together to give out that sort. Then one of the numbers is a perfect square. In this case, 8. We are looking for sort of 8 here. Then I will look for two numbers I can multiply together to give us 8, which is 4 times 2. And 4 is a perfect square there. So then that will give us a... Sort of, sort of 4 is 2, then 2 times sort 2, because you cannot, sort, you cannot simplify sort 2 again, so that gives us 2 sort 2. Let me ask you a question. Can we simplify sort 6 again, um, further? Let me Before we move on, 
can we simplify sort C further or that's the simplest form an uh, the answer is no we cannot simplify it further that's the simplest form the reason is that uh, there's no two number you can multiply together to give us six and one of the number is a perfect square is there any number please think about it is there any number you can multiply together to give us six so is there two number you can multiply together to give us six and one of them is a perfect square no the number you can give us is six is one times six or three times two and uh, none of these numbers here is a perfect square you can say one is a perfect square fine if i say so the, uh, one times six then when i find sort of one is one can i find sort of six it's not so i still give us all six back so that means sort of six that's the simplest for it cannot be simplified further let me give another example can we simplify sort of seven further no because you cannot use, there's no two number you can multiply together to give us a uh, seven and one of them is a perfect square no there's nothing like that can i simplify sort the uh, sort five further no that's the simplest form they call there's no two number i can multiply together to give us five and one of them is a perfect square i hope you understand what i'm trying to say now now let's continue our simplification let's look at sort uh, 24 or before that let's look at sort 12 for other sort 12 after it let's look at sort 12 can we simplify sort 12 further yes you ask me how there are two numbers you can multiply together to give us a 12 and one of them is a perfect square I hope you understand that now. So 12, it seems as a sword 4 times 3. Because 4 times 3 gives us 12. And 4 is a perfect square. Does that make any sense to us? Yes. So that means that will give us, if you can now find the sword of 4, that will give us a 2 times sword 3. So that means you are, uh, I have a, so 12 will give us, if I simplify sword 12, that will give us a 2 sword 3. I hope you understand that now. So 12 is seems as a sword 4 times 3. Then I can find sort of 4, but I cannot find the sort of 3. That's the simplest form. So that means sort of 4 is 2 times sort of 3. That will be 2 sort 3. Does that make any sense to us? Now let's look at sort 24. We can simplify sort 24 further. Because there are two numbers you can multiply together to give us 24. And one of them is a perfect square. And what are the two numbers you can multiply together to give us 24? That is 4 times 6. And 4 is a perfect square. So what is sort 4? Sort 4 is 2. Then multiply by sort 6, which you cannot simplify for any longer. That gives us 2 sort 6. So when I simplify sort 24, that will give us 2 sort 6. By the time you get yourself acclimatized or used to this simplification of sort, you can tell us the answer often without even writing it down. What is sort 12? Sort 12 is a uh, 2 sort 3. What is sort 12? 24? Sort, uh, sort 24 is 2 sort, si 2 sort 6. What is sort 8? Sort 8 is 2 sort 2. You are simplifying them based on the 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 understanding you have on how to simplify sort are we there now let's move on can we sort simplify sort sort uh, 20 uh, sort 50 let me use 50 now sort 50 can we simplify sort 50 further yes because there are two numbers you can multiply together to give us 50 and one of them is a perfect square what are the two numbers if you know if you know that is 25 times 2 you give us 50 and 25 is a perfect square so that will give us sort 25 times 2 and what is sort 25 that is 5 then times sort 2 that give us 5 sort 2 so that means sort 50 is same thing as a 5 sort 2 does that make any sense to us yes let's move on to sort 72 we can simplify sort 72 to go on further that will give us a sort uh, 36 times 2 and 36 is a perfect square that will give us a what is sort, sort 36 that is 6 multiply by sort 2 that will give us a 6 sort 2 can we simplify sort uh, 108 further? Yes. Reason being that uh, there are two numbers you can multiply together to give us 108, and one of them is a perfect square. 36 times 3 will give us 108, and 36 is a perfect square. So what sort of 36? That is 6, and the uh, sort of 3 cannot be simplified again. So that means 6 sort 3. So that means sort 108 is sort uh, 6 sort 3. Also, what is sort 288? We can simplify this one further because 288 same thing as uh, 144 times 2 and 144 is a perfect square so what sort of 144 that is 12 times or 2 that gives us 12 sort 2 so that means uh, so 288 is 12 sort 2 can we simplify so 27 further is a question yes because there are two numbers you can multiply together to give us 27 and one of them is a perfect square so what are the two numbers you can multiply together to give us 27? That is 9 times 3. And 9 is a perfect square. So that means so 27 will give us a sort of 9 is what 3. 
left, we are left with sword three. So that means sword twenty-seven will give us three sword three. So look at this question now. We are having four sword twenty-seven. This is quite different from this one now. We can simplify this twenty sword twenty-seven to be border, and you are having four outside. So this one can be written as a four sword nine times three because nine times three equals twenty-seven. And the reason being that we can simplify sword twenty-seven further. So what do we have? You find the sort of nine that is give us three, then multiply by sort three. So we have three sort three. So this four can multiply this three here. That gives us twelve. So that gives us a uh, twelve sort three. So that means the we simplify four sort twenty seven. That gives us a uh, twelve sort three. Do you understand that? Good. If you do, now we are going to be seeing more simplification in our in the uh, in our future uh, explanation as you continue this video. We know how to simplify. A, a a number now what about algebra because some science students like uh, to work with number than uh, algebra it's the same concept if you look at this now this is sort uh a square but before we do it about this can we simplify sort a no sort a is sort a you cannot simplify that on further can we simplify sort b no Sort B is sort B. You cannot simplify it further because there are no two numbers you can multiply together to give us a, and one of them is a perfect square. No, there's no. There are no two numbers you can multiply together with um, uh, to get B, and one of them is a perfect square. So that means sort A is that is the simplest form. Sort B that is the simplest form. Let's look at this one. Sort A square. Sort A square. Sort A square is same thing as what A because A here is a perfect square. Sort A just like sort sort four is two. So sort a square is what gives us what a. Then let's look at four sort a square. Four is a perfect square. A square is also a perfect square. So what is sort of four? That is two. And what sort of a square? That is a a. Do you understand that now? Good. Let's look at this. Three sort a cube b. Three sort a cube b. Now how do we simply? Can we simplify this one further? Yes. Now. We can simplify this sort uh, this a raised to power three. How? All you need to do is to look for two numbers in terms of a that you can multiply together to give us a cube, and one of them is a perfect square. I'll come again. We can simplify this a cube further. The same thing you do here. Look for two numbers in terms of a that you can multiply together to give us this a cube, and one of them is a perfect square. What are the two numbers? Is a squared times a will give us a cube and a square is a perfect if it's a perfect square does that make any sense to you yes a square times a will give us a cube according to the law of indices the power of a here is one so we have the same base a a and you're having times here so you can pick one of the base and add the power together two plus one give us three so we have a cube here so i'm saying that how do we simplify a cube further by looking for a two number in terms of a that you can multiply together that uh, we give us a cube and one of them is a perfect square that is a square times a it squared times a will give us a cube and a square is a perfect square good so that means we can find the sort of this what is sort of a square that will give us a does that make any sense to you yes then a times three will give us three a you are having here so we cannot simplify sort a again we cannot simplify sort b again so a times b will give us a b and will give us sort a b here because we cannot simplify this to this sort and this sort again so that means give us sort a b so that means if you simplify 3 sort a cube b, you give us 3a sort a b. Do you understand that? Good. If you do, let's look at this sort. We have having sort 4a square over b square. The law of you know, the sort say that when you have a division like this, you can split them into two. That gives us sort a square over sort b square. A 4 here is a perfect square. We can find the sort of it that gives us two. A square is a perfect square as well. You can find this so that gives us a. So that means this one gives us two a. Then b square is also a perfect square, so you can find the sort as well. That gives us b as well, and that gives us over a two a over b rather. Do you understand that? Now, if you understand that, now let's look at this uh, last one. We are to simplify two sort x raised to power five y. Two sort x raised to power five y. Then, how do we do this as well? We can simplify sort. Uh, we can simplify x raised to power five further. We can simplify sort x raised to power five further. How do we do that? We also look for two numbers we can multiply together in terms of 
x that will give us x raised to the power of 5 and one of them is a perfect square x raised to the power of 4 is a perfect square times x will give us x raised to the power of 5 x raised to the power of 4 is a perfect square times x will give us x raised to the power of 5 so we can find the sort of x raised to the power of 4 that will give us x square sort of x raised to the power of 4 will give us what x square then x square times 2 will give us 2x square then you cannot find the sort of x, you cannot find the sort of y. Those are the simplest form. So that means you have x times y left. Then that gives us sort x, y here. So we have two x square sort x, y. The reason why I do this one is for you to understand better. I can see break this x raised to power 4 using another method. So that gives us x square times x squared. x raised to power 4 is similar to x square times x square. Then x times y here are there. So we can find the sort of x square, which is perfect square. That gives us x. Sort of x square as well, give us x. A times s will give us x square here. Times 2 will give us 2 x square. You are left with x times y, so which is x, sort of x, y. Do we understand this concept? It's very simple as well. So if you understand what you have done, you have on the, uh, explained so far on the simplification of sort, then I want you to pause this video, take your book, and write out this uh, sort we have here from number 1 to uh nine uh to sorry this is uh where do we stop this is uh nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so, so this sixteen question we have here on simplification of sword then take your biro and uh, simplify them one after the order and you can put your answer in the comment section of this video so that I, I can verify for you. Can we simplify sort 15 further? If you can, if you can simply uh, simplify and give us the answer. If you cannot, then you should you tell us the answer. So can we simplify sort 19, sort 20, 40, sort uh, uh, 150, sort 162, sort 432, sort 800, sort 88? So 245 uh, and so on and all this algebra as well. Can we find their sort further? If we can, then simplify them one after the other and tell us the answer. So we have just concluded a part of this uh, video. So we are still going to continue. So before we continue, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscribe button right now. And you can like and share the video and you can also uh, comment on it. Now let's continue. Now, having understood how we can simplify sort, the next thing we want to talk about is how do we perform the basic operation with sort? Basic operation with sort. How do we add two or more sort? How do we subtract two or more sort? How do we multiply and how do we divide? We have only known how to simplify. If they are not yet simplified, we have uh, also understood the laws that we need to follow when we are adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. But now we want to perform the basic operation. How do we add two or more sorts? How do we subtract? Or how do we perform addition and subtraction together? And how do we uh, do we multiply and divide? Now the first one, the first arithmetic uh, operation we are going to talk about here is addition and subtraction together. Addition and subtraction of sort. How do we add sort and subtract sort? Now, look at the first question here. We have having sort 3 plus sort 2. The question I'm asking you, can we add these two sort together based on the rule? Can we add it together? I don't want you to focus on the answer here. Just ask yourself, can I add these two sort together based on the rule that we talked about before? The answer is no. Sort 3 plus sort 2 cannot be added together because they are two different sort according to the laws, the rules of, sort, uh, of addition. We are having a goat plus a sheep. We cannot add them together. So, 3 sort 2 Sorry, so 3 plus so 2 is the same thing as so 3 plus so 2. You cannot add them together. Next one is so 5 minus so 3. Can we subtract them? One after, can we subtract these two so? I'm asking you the question as well. Based on the subtraction, law of subtraction rather. No, we cannot subtract them as well. Because they are two different so. We cannot subtract them. So so 5 minus so 3 will give us so 5 minus so 3. Look at question number C. Can we add these two so together? It's a question. The answer is yes, because they are the same sort. So 3 plus so 3. 
that is one ball plus one ball that give us two ball so sword three plus sword three give us two sword three do we understand that let's look at the next one can we add uh, this together sword five so four plus sword five no we cannot add them together but we can still do something to this sword four we can simplify it further does that make any sense to you yes because four is a perfect square you can simplify it so what's sort four that give us two plus sort five do you understand this now yes but we cannot can we add two plus sort five together no there are two different things we cannot add them together so that's the answer we understand that let's look at this question number e we have two sort seven minus sort seven can we subtract these two sort it's a question yes based on the rule for subtraction we can subtract them we are having two sort seven minus sort seven two goats minus one goat that will give us a goat that is will give us one goat so two sort seven minus sort seven will give us a sort seven that is one of these one of these that's what it means two sort seven minus sort seven give us a sort seven look at this now we are having four sort eleven minus two sort eleven can we subtract these sorts can we subtract them is a question yes we can subtract them we are having four sort seven four sort eleven that is four of these minus two of these four of these minus two of these four ball minus two balls we give us a two ball does that make any sense to us then let's look at this uh, the last number g 18 sorry sort 18 plus sort 8 can we add them together now no we cannot add them together but if you look at the sort 18 it has not been it has not yet been simplified to the simplest form. we can see simplify sort 18 further am i correct you can sub simplify sort 18 further and also we can also simplify sort 8 further right now we cannot add them but that does not mean that that's the end of the question we can simplify sort 18 because it's it, sort 18 is not that is not the simplest form likewise sort 8 that's not the simplest form as well we can simplify this also further so how do we simplify sort 18 look for two numbers you can multiply together to give us 18 and one of them is a perfect square and that should be 9 times 2 is that correct yes so sort 9 times 2 is sort 18 so what is sort 9 that is 3 then sort 2 you cannot simplify that one further that will give us 3 sort eight, uh, 2 so that means sort 18 is similar to 3 sort 2 which i believe you understand that i've jumped a step here but you can just write your own write sort 9 times 2 plus simplify this one also that will be 4 times 2 because 4 is a perfect square sort 4 times 2 so what is sort 4 sort 4 is a uh, 2 then times sort 2 that give us 2 sort 2 i hope you understand what i've done there so that means sort 18 is 3 sort 2 plus sort 8 sort 8 is similar to sort 2 now ask yourself this question can we add these two sort together now yes we can add them together because they are having the same sort before it was not possible here but here it is possible here now after simplifying these two sort so 3 sort 2 plus 2 sort 2 will give us 5 sort 2 3 ball plus 2 ball will give us 5 balls do we understand that this sort we cannot simplify for that sort 11 we cannot simplify sort 7 we cannot simplify for that then you can simplify sort 4 but we cannot simplify all of this further do we understand what you have done there let's go on to the next one let's look at question number h here we are having 4 sort 18 minus sort 200 plus 3 sort 50 we cannot subtract these two sort because they are different so this is sort 18 minus sort 200 can we subtract them no plus sort 50 can we can we add the also we cannot add them no but you can see that uh, all the sort sort 18 sort 200 sort 50 they are not yet simplified to the simplest form so that means we can simplify each of them so we can simplify sort 18 we can simplify sort 200 we can simplify sort 50 does that make any sense for us yes so that's what we have done here so how do we simplify sort 18 that would be 9 times 2 so that we have here 9 times 2 so 9 times 2 how do we also simplify sort uh, 200 that would be 100 times 2 because 100 is a perfect square then how do we simplify sort 50 that would be 25 times 2 so now what is sort 9 sort 9 is 3 so we have 3 here and we cannot simplify sort 2 again so that will give us uh, 3 sort 2 so what do you make uh, do you understand that then we can simplify sort 100 what sort 100 that is 10 sort 2 left here 
then what is so 25 that is 5 then that means we're having 5 times 3 then so 2 do we understand that now so what is 4 times 3 that give us 12 that, that means you have a uh, 12 so 2 then this one is minus 10 so 2 what is 3 times 5 that should give us a uh, 15 plus 15 so 2 the question is now that can we now add and subtract this three sort ask yourself that question can we add and subtract this three sort yes why because they are having the same sort all of them are having sort two sort two sort two so how do we go about it you can uh, perform use board mass here or you can see do the same way what is 12 minus uh, 12 minus 12 ball minus 10 ball will give us a uh, two ball then two ball plus uh, plus five ball will give us a uh, 17 ball do you understand that? So two, 12 so 2 minus 10 so 2 will give us a 2 so 2. 2 so 2 plus 15 so 2 will give us a 17 so 2. I hope you understand that concept. So it's very simple. If you follow my explanation, it's not going to be, there's not going to be a problem. Now let's look at question number uh, high here. We are having 5 so 3 plus 2 so 2 minus 3 so 3 minus so 2. If you look at all the sort, they are all simplified to the simplest form. You cannot simplify all these sort to again. No, it's not possible. But we have to add and subtract them. That means uh, we can collect like times. We can rearrange it and collect like times. So I write the question again. Is equal to so we can rearrange this. Bring sort three and sort three together. Bring sort two and sort two together. So we have five sort three minus three sort three plus 2 sort 2 minus 2 sort 2 so we have to arrange the sort given to us although we cannot simplify this sort again they are already at the simplest form so now what can we do we can subtract this sort 3 and sort 3 here because they are likely sort and we can do also this one as well so then we are having 5 sort 3 minus 3 sort 3 that should give us 2 sort 3 which i believe you understand how we got that then what is 2 sort 2 minus sort 2 that should give us plus so two we are having two nera minus one nera that should give us a uh, one nera one so two so i hope you understand that clearly so this is two ball minus one ball that should give us one ball let's look at the last question here j we have in sort 48 plus four sort 90 minus two sort 40 plus sort 27 can we add and subtract all this sort no it's not possible right now it is not possible but we can see that this 48 sort 90 sort 40 sort 24 they are not yet simplified to the simplest form it means that we can simplify each one of them further before we now do addition and subtraction do we understand that now but if you understand let's do that how do we go about that so this question is written again is equal to how do we simplify sort 48 you should be able to tell me the answer offhand this year we 48 will give us 16 times 3 and 40, 16 is a perfect square so sort 90 how do we simplify that further that will be 9 times 10 because 9 is a perfect square there 14 call that will be 4 times 10 as well because 4 is a perfect square 27 that will be 9 times 3 because 9 is a perfect square as well does that make any sense to us so what is sort 16 that will be 4 then we cannot simplify sort 3 again that will be 4 sort 3 so that means sort 48 when you simplify it, it will give us 4 sort 3 plus what is sort 90? When is what is sort 9? Yeah, that is 3. Then 3 times 4 will give us a uh, 12. We are left with sort 10. So we have 12 sort 10 in there. Then what is sort 4? That is 2. 2 times 2 here will give us 4. Then that means we have a uh, minus 4 sort 10 from here as well. Then what is sort 9? That is 3. 3 times sort 3 will give us 3 sort 3. Which I believe you understand that now. So now you can see that we are having likely sort here now. This sort three, we have sort three here, we have sort ten, we have sort ten here. So then we can collect like times or rearrange and they add and subtract. So we are having four sort three here plus three sort three. Four sort three plus three sort three. What would that give us if you understand that? Four ball plus three ball, that gives us a seven ball, which is seven sort three. Then here you're having twelve sort ten minus four sort ten. 12 so 10 minus 4 so 10 that will give us a uh, plus 8 so 10 I will, I will hope you understand that now then can we add these two so together no so 3 and so 10 cannot be added together so that means this is the final answer for this uh, question and we cannot so simplify so 3 again 
we can also simplify so 10 again because there's no two number you can multiply together to give us three and one of, and one of them is a perfect square there's no two number you can, number you can multiply together to give us 10 and one of them is a perfect square as well so that means this is the final answer when you simplify this sort which i believe you understand that so this is the second assignment based on the addition and subtraction of sort so if you understand that please simplify this sort for me and then uh, you can post your answer also in the comment section for the assignment number two so before we move on to the multiplication of, of sort now please if you have not subscribed to this channel please click on subscribe button right now you can like comment and share this video to other students which are not aware of this platform or this channel so that uh, they will also benefit from this channel as you have been benefiting let's go to the 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 we have done addition and subtraction of a uh, under our uh, basic of our uh, arithmetic operation let's go to our multiplication now let's see how we can multiply sort now let's see multiplication of sort how do we multiply sort here you're having two two is not a sort you're having a whole number you're multiplying a sort two times sort three will give us a two sort three if i say what is a uh, five times sort three that go five sort three what is ten sort ten times uh sort five that go ten sort five so we can use a whole number to multiply a sort that's what we are talking about here so two times sort three will give us a uh, two sort three then can we multiply this two sort sort three times sort two and you can see that they are not the same sort they are different sort can we multiply them yes according to the law of multiplication of sort so we can multiply likely sort and we can multiply unlikely sort so three sort two three uh, sort three times sort two give us a sort six because three times two give us six here can we multiply sort four times sort three yes you can multiply it but before we multiply you can just say that uh, this one will give us a uh, four times sort four times sort three and that will give us sort 12. so but if i want to work smartly i can say that this four i can simplify sort four further that will be sort four is two so that means two times sort three give us two sort three but i can also say that this is sort, uh, sort four times sort three give us sort 12. then i can know that i know that i can simplify sort 12 further that means i will look for two numbers i can multiply together to give us 12. and one of them is a perfect square that is four times three so what is uh, sort of four that is two then so three so i hope you understand what you have done there the question is can we multiply this sort together yes how do we multiply this you do two times three that give us six that you multiply the whole number for us. two times three give us a six then what is we now multiply the sort and and sort together as well then what is sort five times sort five based on the law of uh, sort multiplication of sort like we did before if you remember what is sort four times sort, sort five times sort five that should give us a five do you understand that so because we said that sort a times sort a will give us a so that means you have two times three here that give us six times four uh sort five times sort five will give us five so that means six times five will give us what 30. also let's look at sort 18 times sort 32. sort 18 times sort 32 we can just do it straight sort 18 times sort 32 is going to give us a big number then which we will not decide to which we will not simplify again further but if you don't want to do it that way you can simplify this sort 18 first simplify sort 32 because you, you know that you can, they can they can be simplified further so i can simplify sort 18 then simplify sort 32 as well then whatever i now get i will now multiply them so the question is how do we simplify sort 18 i'm not going to tell you this time around i believe you should know that so what is sort 18 if you simplify that give us 3 sort 2 and what is sort 32 if you simplify it that will give us a, a 4 sort 2 as well so from there 3 we multiply 4 that will give us 12 times sort 2 times sort 2 we give us what 2 according to the rule that will give us a 2 year so that means 12 times 2 give us 24 so that means when I multiply these two sorts together, it's going to give me 24. Let's go to the next question, which is number 6. We are having more question now. So 24 times so 72 times 3 sort 5. Now the question is, how do we multiply all these three sorts? 
you can see that we can simplify sort 24 we can simplify sort 72 but we cannot simplify sort 5 so you simplify this simplify this then you know what to do further are we there good if you are there what can we do if you simplify sort 24 what will it give us that should give us a 2 sort 6 because 24 will give us a 4 times 6 what sort of 4 that is 2 then sort 6 times what if you simplify sort 72 what would that give us that should give us a 6 sort 2 reason being that uh, 36 times 2 will give us a uh, 72 and 36 is a perfect square so what is sort of 36 that will give us 6 then sort 2 left times 3 sort 5 now you cannot multiply this now how do we multiply this the whole number will multiply themselves 2 times 6 times 3 will give us a uh, 36 which I believe you understand that then the sort also will multiply themselves so we have sort 6 times sort 2 that give us sort 12 then sort 12 times sort 5 will give us sort 60 I believe you understand that as well but if you look at this sort 60 we can simplify sort 60 for that you cannot even answer like this so by looking for two numbers you can multiply together to give us a uh, sort 60 and then one of them is a perfect square and that should be 4 times 15 4 times 15 is a is a 60 and therefore is a perfect square so what is sort 4 that is 2 we are left with sort 15 you cannot simplify sort 15 again so that means 2 times 36 will give us what 72 sort 15 so when we simplify this we have 72 sort 15 then uh, next question is sort the the next question is a uh, 4 sort 3 squared so we want to simplify sort with with power how do we do this from your primary school what is a square a square means a times a so 4 sort 3 square will give us same thing as a 4 sort 3 times 4 sort 3 that means this 4 sort 3 in two places that's what it means 4 sort 3 times 4 sort 3 so from there as well we can now multiply 4 times 4 will give us 16 so 3 times so 3 will give us 3 16 times 3 will give us a 48 do we understand that good let's look at this question number 8 2 so 3 is over 5 that means we have 2 so 3 in 5 places so, and that's what we are having here 2 so 3 times so 2 so 3 times 2 so 3 times 2 so 3 times 2 so 3 in 5 places then you can now multiply them out what how do we do that the whole number will multiply themselves out 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 what would that give, that give us 32 then let's go on you multiply the sort as well so two so three times so three that'll give us three then you also multiply this one three times so three times so, so three times so three will give us three as well three times three will give us nine so then so nine times so three will give us a nine so three do you understand what i've done there so three times so three will give us three for this two then so three times so three years also will give us also three then 3 times 3 here will give us 9. Then 9 times this or 3 here will give us 9 or 3. Then 9 times 32 will give us 188. Then so 3. Which I believe you understand the, what we have done there. So let's go on to question number 9 here. Let's look at this question. We have so 10 times 2 so 3 times so 12 times 3 so 8 times so 40 times so 32. Hmm. This is a, a little bit cumbersome, but it's very simple if you look at it very well. How do we do this again? There are some of the sort that you can simplify for that. There are some that we cannot simplify for that. We cannot simplify sort 10. We cannot simplify sort 3. But we can simplify sort 12. And that will give us a 2 sort 3. If you if you know how to do that. We can simplify sort uh, 8 as well. If you simplify sort 8, that will give us 2 sort 2. If you remember. Then that 2... We give we multiply this three that give us six or two then times if you simplify sort 40 what would that give us two sort 10 do you remember that you know how to do that times what is if you simplify sort 32 that should give us a uh, 16 times 2 we give us 32 that give us a uh, four sort two so we have been able to simplify this sort now to the simplest form now we can now start multi multiplying what do we do multiply all the uh the the whole number so we have 1 times 2 times 2 times 6 times 2 times 4 
so that will give us two times two times six times two times four i did not put this one here it does not have any effect so then multiply all the sort also together all this sort you have so ten times or three times or three times or three times or two times or ten times or two if you multiply all these two times two times six times two times four will give us 192 if you multiply all these sort as well that will give us so three thousand six hundred and uh, 3600 is a perfect square so let me can find the sort of that 3600 is a perfect square that's sort 60 sorry that's 60 rather so 3600 is 60 so 192 times 60 will give us a one and sorry 11,520 so that's how to multiply swords together that's how to multiply sword out rather so if you understand what we have done in the multiplication of sword as well you can try out this assignment number three based on the multiplication of sword try this as well and uh, give me the response to your answers in this uh, video as well so let's go to division of sword we are talking about multiplication now oh sorry forgive me the next thing is how do we multiply the bracket when it comes to sword as well we are still on multiplication we want to see how we can multiply brackets when it comes to sort. So this way, the same way we multiply, we open bracket in a, in algebra. That's the same way we are going to multi open bracket with sort. When you have open bracket a plus b close bracket, open bracket a plus b close bracket as well. You know how to multiply that. So the first bracket will multiply the second bracket. That's how you do it. The same way you are going to do with uh, with the sort as well. So let's see how we can multi how we can open bracket with sort. The first one you are having is op close open bracket sort three plus sort five close the bracket multiply by two sort three plus two sort five. The same way you are going to do it as well. This bracket will multiply this bracket. How do we go about that? Please, I want you to listen and look at it. Sort three here will multiply everything in this second bracket. Also, sort five here will multiply everything in the bracket as well. Then you sim you simplify further. How do we do that? Let's go. Sort 3 times 2 sort 3. Let me give you a break. Uh, oh, oh, that give us. Let me give you a break. Sort 3 times 2 sort 3. We know that sort will multiply this sort. Sort 3 will multiply this sort 3. That will give us 3. Then 3 times 2 will give us uh, 6. That will give us 6 here. I will come again. Sort 3 times 2 sort 3. When sort, the same sort multiply themselves, that will give us the whole number. Sort 3 times sort 3 will give us 3. Then that 3 you get times 2 give us 6. Do you understand that? Good. Then sort 3 also will multiply this as well. So sort 3 times 2 sort 5. What would that give you? If you if you know. Sort 3 times 2 sort 5. What would that give you if you know? Okay, let me I'm just trying to I'm 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 waiting for you to catch your breath. So 3 times 2 sort 5, that will give us a 2 sort 15. Because so 3 times sort 5 will give us sort 15. So that will give us 2 sort 15. Do you understand that? Also, this five, sort 5 will multiply everything in the bracket as well. So we have sort 5 times 2 sort 3. Oh, that give us. Sort 5 will multiply sort 3. That will give us a sort 15. Then that will give us 2 sort 15. Same thing here. Then here as well, we are having sort 5 times 2 sort 5. Oh, that give us. Sort 5 times sort 5 will give us a 5 times 2, that give us 10. I hope you understand that we, how we, I opened that bracket. Now you cannot collect light times. 6 times 6 plus 10, yeah, we can collect the light or rearrange it and collect light times anyhow. But you can just do it straight. 6 plus 10 will give us a 16. Then can we add these two sort together? Ask yourself, based on the addition of sort, can we add sort 2 sort 15 plus 2 sort 15 together? Can we add them? The question. Yes, we can add them. Two ball plus two ball will give us a four ball. Because we are having the same they're having the same sort, we can add them together. So four sort fifteen. So that's the solution to this uh, first question. Let's look at the second question. This bracket is multiplying this bracket. You go again, sort two times three sort two. That should give us a six. How? So two times sort two will give us two. Two times three will give us six. Then also sort two we go again to multiply this uh, four sort three, and uh, how do we do that? Sort two times sort three will give us sort six. Sort six times four will give us a uh, four sort six. Do you understand that? 
good if you understand that minus 2 sub 3 times 3 sub 2 minus times plus will give us a minus 2 times 3 will give us 6 so 3 times so 2 will give us a so 6 do you understand that good then uh, minus 2 so 3 times 4 so 3 minus times plus will give us minus as well 2 times 4 will give us uh, 8 then th so 3 times so 3 give us 3 3 times 8 will give us 24 do we understand that good if you understand that now we can see you can now collect like times 6 minus 24 will give us a minus 18 then can we subtract these two sort 4 sort 6 minus 6 sort 6 yes we can subtract them because they are having the same sort 4 ball minus 6 ball that give us minus 2 ball so minus 2 sort 6 so that's the answer to this question as well let's check another one on multi uh, opening brackets we are having uh, open bracket sort 6.4 minus sort 2.2 everything squared now based on uh, this you should know that this one is talking about everything in the bracket in two places because of this square here so this bracket in two places that what it means so i would know we have in here then based on our multiplication of uh, bracket we can multiply one after the other this so 6.4 will multiply this bracket minus so 2.5 also multiply this second bracket as well so let's go so 6.4 times so 6.4 what's the answer if i ask you <laughs> so that should give us 6.4 because they're having the same sort and when they multiply so the sort we already have a 6.4 sort a times sort a will give us a also sort 6.4 multiplied by minus 2 sort 5 that give us minus open bracket sorry minus this sort i'm just doing it step by step so that i could have done it straight but i want you to understand it so sort this times sort uh, 2.5 that we're having here according to the law of sort we can multiply them like this also this one also will go like this and multiply this minus times plus here will give us minus so 2.5 times 6.4 will give us 2.5 times 6.4 here then minus times minus here will give us plus so 2.5 times so 2.5 will give us a 2.5 then 6.5 if you multiply this one together that will give us a sort 16 if you multiply this that will give us sort 16 as well so what is sort 16 that will give us sort 4 sort 16 also will give us sort 4 are we there so i have added 6.4 plus 2.5 that will give us 8.9 minus 4 minus 4 then if you ask, add if you simplify that that will give us 0 0.9 as the solution to this question as well this question is a pass y question it's a pass y question we have to evaluate without using table open bracket 5 sort 2.5 minus sort 10 close bracket multiply by sort 0 0.4 you have to use your you are not to use calculator or anything to simplify this so but you can see that uh, this bracket is multiplying this bracket or this bracket is multiplying the bracket anyone you want to do it's still the same question the same way what do you do we have uh zero uh this multiply this minus this one multiply this so 5 so 2 5 so 2.5 multiplied by so 0 0.4 that give us 5 into 2.5 times uh, 0 0.4 do you understand what, what he did there just trying to explain it further minus 10 so minus so 10 times this will give us a uh, minus so 10 times 0 0.4 then if you multiply this by this that should give us a uh, uh sort one 2.5 times 0 0.4 will give us one so then we are having sort one left here times this five minus 10 times 0 0.4 give us four and we have sort four left there so the one is same thing as one so one times five will give us one times five will give us five minus what sort four that is two but minus two give us what three so that's the solution to that y question it's very simple if you understand what you have done here based on multiplication of sort now that's this uh all we want to dis we di we will discuss on the multiplication of sort so if you understand how what you have done so far on the multiplication of sort this is fourth assignment and it is based on multiplication of sort so lay your hands on your pause the video and write out these questions and lay your hands on it one after the other and see what you are going to get 
some of them you can see that you need to simplify this one further before you multiply, before you multiply. and this one as well you can you can simplify 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 before you now open the bracket and also you can simplify also before you open the bracket so lay your hands on it and uh, let me know your your answers now we are going to the division of salt right now how do we divide salt division of salt divide division of salt now based on our previous thing we have done we are having salt of 12 by 81 according to the law the law says that uh, we can't uh, break this fraction the numerator will carry its own salt the denominator will also carry its own salt so that means you have salt 12 divided by salt 81 and then uh, we know that salt 12 we can simplify further that give us 2 salt 3 and salt 81 is the perfect square that means uh, salt 81 is 9 so that's the answer to that question then here also we have in salt 2 um, salt 2 over 18 which i can write as a uh, one one two can go in one uh two can go in uh 18 so that gives us one over nine so sort of one is a uh, one sort of nine is three one over three but i did not do it that way but i want to understand something here that way i did not do it that way there's a short method here so i can break it just like according to the rule of division that gives us sort two over sort 18 and uh, when we did when we we can simplify sort 18 border because we can simplify this sort 18 that give us a uh, two number you can multiply together to give us 18 is a uh, 9 times 3 so 9 times 2 rather so sort 9 is 3 so that give us a uh, sort 18 is 3 sort 2 now anytime we are solving a question which even if it is not a the question is not on a sort we are solving an equation and at the end of the day our answer is a, is a fraction and in that fraction the denominator is is in sort form we don't leave our answer like that we don't leave our answer like that I hope I'm, I understand, you understand what I, let's say I have one over sort two I don't leave my answer like that we don't allow the denominator of a fraction to be in sort form that means there should be something we can do for that that's what we call rationalization we rationalize so when you are having a fraction and your denominator is in sort form let us have a 3 over sort 5 sort 5 is not allowed the denominator is not is not allowed to is not allowed to be in the sort form so in that case what do you do you rationalize rationalize the denominator in this case as well i can say sort 2 can cancel sort 2 here yeah, that give 1 over 3 but there's some there's a reason why i do it further as well so you can see that this fraction here you can see that the denominator is in sort form so what do we do we rationalize we rationalize how do we rationalize you will use the denominator to multiply up and down you use the denominator to multiply the fraction and that's what i write here this is the quest this one is this one times use this 3 or 2 to multiply up and down 3 or 2 divided by 3 or 2 so this 3 or 2 now is multiplying up and down now do we understand that that's how to rationalize are we clear good so now you can now multiply out so 2 times so 2 will give us 2 2 times 3 will give us 6 3 times 3 will give us 9 2, so 2 times so 2 will give us what 2 so 9 times 2 will give us 18 6, eight, six, uh, six in 6 is 1 6 in 18 is 3 that gives us 1 over 3 so I want to understand this concept of rationalization that's why I, I take it I take time to explain it this way there are shorter method for solving this particular question let's see another question here now we are having 3 over sort 5 I told you we don't leave our answer in this like this you can see that the numerator is not in sort form it's a whole number but the denominator is in sort form so we don't leave our answer like this when in mathematics or in further mathematics so anytime you're having a fraction and the denominator is in sort form then what do you do you rationalize you rationalize by using the denominator to multiply the fraction use the denominator to multiply up and down of the fraction so i rewrite 3 over sort 5 same thing as a 3 over sort 5 times sort 5 over sort 5 do you understand that now so the, you are using this sort 5 to multiply up and down so what is it, 3 times sort 5 talk about 3 sort 5 sort 5 times sort 5 equals what 5 so the numerator is allowed to be in sort form but the denominator is not allowed to be in sort form i hope you understand that good let's go to the next question 15 over sort 12 
so this can be simplified you cannot leave a the denominator in, in, in sort form so but if you look at this sort 12 you can simplify sort 12 further if you simplify sort 12 that will give us a 4 sort 3 I believe you understand how we got that so 5 over sort, sort 3 same thing as 5 over sort 12 because if you simplify sort 12 that will give us 4 sort 3 now better and still the denominator is in sort form as well so that means that means what you rationalize you rationalize by using force or three to multiply up and down then if you do that that means you be having four verse force or three times force or three verse force or three that means you have rationalized like this then five will multiply force or three and force or three times force or three also will multiply so five times four give us twenty the twenty times or three gives us twenty so three also four times four give us sixteen so three times or three give us three so sixteen times uh okay something can go uh four can go here by four can go here four sorry four can uh five uh four can go here if i'm clear four can go here five times four in four is uh four in sixteen is four times three is twelve so there's a mistake in this if i'm if you can see clearly there's a mistake in it um let's see let's see let's see four years is five four years is uh, four times three that should be twelve so there's a mistake in this uh this please let me correct this this is five so three over twelve if that is the case so now for number five you have a five sort two over two sort five you can see that the denominator is in sort form as well so we cannot leave an answer like this that means we rationalize as well we cannot simplify sort five again that is simplest form so we rationalize that means so two sort five will multiply up and down so that what we are having here right now so you multiply as well five times two will give us ten so two times sort five will give us sort ten over two times two will give us a uh, four five, so five times so five will give us a uh, five then five times four will give us a uh, twenty ten year one ten year two so that give us so ten over two i hope you understand that let's look at this question this one is having more uh you are having operations with this now you are having minus and minus here but if you look at the question please critically you have sort 5 minus 1 over 2 sort 5 minus 1 over sort 125. Look at this a fraction, another word fraction. And the denominator of this fraction is in sort form. The denominator here is also in sort, in sort form. That means there's something we can do here. So, and look at this also sort 5 here is simplified to the simplest form. Nothing can do to that. But 125 is not simplified. So we can simplify this sort 125 as well. So this is the question equals to sort 5 minus 1 over 2 sort 5 minus 1 over we want to simplify this one will give us a 125 times 5 will give us 125. So and the 25 here is a perfect square. So that should give us a 5 sort 5. I hope you understand how we simplify that. Now look at the denominator now. We are having this fraction and the denominator is a is a sort. Look at the fraction also. You have um, so the denominator so that we can, we can rationalize this fraction we can also rationalize this fraction as well i hope you understand that now so that means you have a sort 5 minus if you rationalize this sort we have two sort 5 to multiply up and down it's only multiplying this sort though not everything because this is, a, this is an expression not an equation and then minus one over five sort of five which is this one more then we rationalize this one as well by multiply up and down by 5 sort 5 which is this do we understand good so we have size sort we have sort 5 minus then 1 times 2 sort 5 will give us 2 sort 5 then 2 times 2 give us 4 so 5 times sort 5 will give us 5 5 times 4 will give us uh, 20 minus 1 times 5 sort 5 will give us 5 sort 5 then 5 times 5 give us 25 so 5 times sort 5 will give us 5 5 times 25 will give us a 125 I hope you understand what you have done here. Two can go in twenty, that give us ten. Five can go in one twenty-five, that give us twenty-five. 
you can now find the lcm here because this is a fraction minus a fraction so you can find the lcm the lcm is 50 so 1 in 50 we give up 50 50 times sort 5 give up 50 sort 5 minus 10 in 50 give us 5 5 times sort 5 give us 5 sort 5 minus 25 in 50 is 2 then 2 times sort 5 give us minus 2 sort 5 do you understand that then you can see that look at this numerator can we subtract these sorts ask yourself that question can we subtract them 50 sort 5 minus 5 sort 5 minus 2 sort 5 yeah you can subtract them because they have the same sort so 50 ball minus 5 ball that will give us a uh, 45 ball 45 ball minus uh, 2 ball that will give us a uh, 43 ball so that give us 43 sort 5 over 50 so i hope you understand this question number this question now on the division of salt let's look at uh, this wire pass question it's a wire pass question if you check your pass question you will see it there you are to express sort 32 plus 6 over sort 2 as a single sort and hence find the value of 7 over sort 2 into bracket sort 32 plus 6 sort 2 so 6 over sort 2 rather it's a very simple question you have to follow, work on this you have to make it a single fraction by simplifying this then whatever we get you can see that whatever you are what you are having here is something that you have in this bracket so whatever we get here, you can put it inside the bracket and simplify for that that's simple does that make any sense to you express this as a simple fraction that you solve, solve this then whatever you get here is something that what you have in here so you put it here then you simplify this as well the question is how do we solve this one so 32 plus 6 over so 2 so we can simplify this now we are having sort 32 plus 6 sort 2 we can see that uh, sort 32 is not yet simplified to the simplest form we can simplify sort 32 and that should give us 4 sort 2 if you know how to simplify based on what you have have explained before so that should give us 16 times 2 so 16 is uh, 4 then multiply by sort 2 that give us 4 sort 2 then plus you can see that this is a fraction on its own 6 over sort 2 is a fraction and the denominator is a is a sort so what do you do to this fraction if i may ask you you rationalize it and then that means you have 6 sort 2 multiplied by sort 2 over sort 2 by this this denominator will multiply up and down if that is the case now we have 4 sort 2 then plus 6 times sort 2 give us 6 sort 2 then sort 2 times sort 2 give us a 2 do you understand that then what can we do here now 2 can go in 3 is that correct 2 can divide 3 that will be 3 so 2 can go in 6 rather that will give us 3 so that means we are left with a uh, so 3 so 2 here so that means having 4 so 2 plus 3 so 2 so 4 so 2 plus 3 so 2 give us a 7 so 2 so when we simplify this one we are we get 7 so 2 then let's go to this question 7 over so 2 into so 32 plus 6 so over 6 over so 2 we already simplified this one and it gave us 7 so 2 so we can return it here so we have 7 over so 2 times uh, 7 so 2 because the answer of this one is this one here do we understand now if you look at this now this 7 over so 2, 7 over so 2 so 2 can cut so 2 here so you can make this one over 1 as well so so 2 can take up so 2 that means you are left with 7 times 7 and that should give us 49 so do we understand that question it's very simple so now if you understand the, what we have done so far on the division of sort as well you can uh, as well lay your hands on this assignment question number five on division of sort and uh, comment your answer so that uh, we will check if you are right or wrong and uh, this last question number six here is a past question as well which is very simple if you open the bracket and uh, simplify this sort six twelve open the bracket and you see what you get now let's go to the next uh agenda okay the next agenda is how to find the conjugate of sorts conjugate of sort conjugate of sort then what brought about the conjugate of sort it is still the division of sort that brought about conjugate of sort i will tell you why let's say i have a uh, 
let's go back let's say i have this sword uh sword theory over two sword eight then in this the the denominator now have plus five now i have sword three over two sword eight plus five i on that on that now the denominator is now is now having two sword eight plus five of course you know that when you're having a fraction and the denominator is, is in salt form you rationalize in this case two sort eight will multiply up and down of course you know that you know you're going to simplify the sort eight first but i'm just saying that this will multiply up and down but what if i have plus five to it now you cannot multiply up and down by two sort eight again no it will not work because of this plus five that is added to it you cannot multiply up and down by two sort eight again so what do you do you are going to find the conjugate of the denominator then you now use the conjugate of the denominator to multiply up and down another question let's say i have a let's say i have a three over sort three here plus let's say sort four i cannot i cannot ration i cannot rationalize again with only sort uh sort three again now no because of that plus sort five that is attached to it now that means i will multiply up and down by the conjugate of the sort three plus sort five so all this one we are having here they are just if you look at the denominator it's just a single term single term single term single term but what if you add plus two here now it's no longer a single term now so you cannot multiply up and down here by the sort two plus uh, sort, sort eight again rather you're going to multiply it by the conjugate of sort eight plus two and that's what brought about finding the conjugate of sort i hope you understand that now if you don't understand you understand very soon now before we go to conjugate of sort remember that uh, when you have a square minus b square that will give us a plus b equals to, uh, a plus b multiplied by a minus b this is different of two squares this is different of what two squares do we understand that based on our expansion of brackets if i this multiply by this one it's going to give me a square minus b square bar this is we call it different of two square so when i have two square plus four square i can write as a uh, two plus four in one bracket and two minus four in another bracket so this is different of two squares are we there so also if i have i'm, I'm multiplying two sort now in bracket now and i have sort a plus sort b into bracket sort a minus sort b you can see that this is also is this is different of two square just like what you have in here this is different of two square this is also different of two square this is plus this is minus everything else is the same thing plus and minus everything else is the same thing so instead of multiplying one after the other by the way we explain explained before this times this this times this this times this this times this no because there are two different there are three of two squares i can just do sort a squared minus sort b squared that we're having here so if you am if i'm giving different of two square to multiply out i can just use different of two square that uh, pick one of the sort multiply, square it minus second squared or square it so a square will give us a minus b square will give us what b as well do we understand that now so this is different of two square it's different from when i have this plus this also plus if i have this one to be plus this also plus so i cannot apply this rule don't forget that so i will multiply out normally this will multiply this this will multiply this this multiply this one multiply this. but because these are different of two squares then i can use shortcut by saying pick one of the, the first sort squared it minus the second sort squared it then you find your answer what does that mean now so do you understand that now therefore the conjugate of this sort here is this one here conjugate of sort a plus sort b is sort a minus sort b also the conjugate of this sort here is this one here does that mean anything to you conjugate of sort a minus sort b is, is sort a plus sort b therefore the conjugate of sort a plus sort b is sort a minus sort b and the conjugate of this is a sort of conjugate of sort a minus sort b is sort a plus sort b if i should ask you what is the conjugate of sort a plus five what is the conjugate of sort a plus five think about it and give me the answer the conjugate of sort uh three plus five sort three plus five 
what will it be? That should be sub 3 minus 5. That's the conjugate of sub 3 plus 5. If I ask you what is the conjugate of uh, 5 minus sub 3? 5 minus sub 3. That should be 5 plus sub 3. If I ask you what is the conjugate of sub 10 plus sub 8? What's the conjugate of sub n plus sub 8? That will be sub 10 minus sub 8. I hope you understand that now. Good. If you understand that now, so let's see how we can apply conjugate of sort. Now, let's look at this and simplify the following by rationalizing the denominator. If I want to give you this question, I'm not, go I'm not supposed to tell you this secret. This is a secret now. The question will just say solve this or simplify this, simplify this. Then how do you know you're going to rationalize it? You can say that this is a fraction. Is it not a fraction? It's a fraction. And the, the, denominator, the denominator is having sort. Isn't it? So uh, technically, you should know that we are going to rationalize. Anytime you are having a fraction and the denominator is in sort form, you will rationalize. Look at this one as well. You are having sort at the denominator, so you also want to rationalize. But in this case now, this one is quite different from the way we rationalized before. Let's go back to the before. Sorry for that. Uh, let's quickly go back. Uh huh. It's okay. Now look at this now. You're having this over sort 5. This look at the denominator, it's just a single sort. Look at this. Look at this as well. You are not having plus something or minus something. So in this case, you can just up or um, um, multiply up and down by the denominator. But when it comes to to a sort, when it comes to a sort and the denominator is a, uh, you're having a fraction and the denominator is not a single sort. Look at it now. You're having two sort two minus you're having minus four here now. Look at this now. You're having minus sort three. It could be plus also another thing. So in this case, we are going to rationalize, but we are not going to multiply up and down by this two sort two only. Rather, you will find the conjugate of the denominator. You now use to multiply up and down. You find the conjugate of the denominator here. You now you multiply use to multiply up and down. Does that make any sense to you? Good. If it does, I want to ask you what's the conjugate of this denominator? 2 sort 2 minus 4. What's the conjugate of the denominator? 2 sort 2 minus 4. If you know, say it to yourself. By the time I say it now, you should now you now confirm whether you're right or wrong. The conjugate of 2 sort 2 minus 4 is 2 sort 2 plus 4. Are you are you right? Is that what you said? Okay, so we are going to use 2 sub 2 plus 4 to multiply up and down, and that means you are also rationalizing. So, the first one you are having this question, so like I said, it's equals to this the question that you now use multiply up and down by the conjugate of this denominator, which is 2 sub 2 plus 4. So, you can see what you are having here right now. So, that means this will multiply this, this also will multiply this. So, and you can see that's why I'll put everything in bracket, this one in bracket, in bracket, so that you can you know that the uh, you have to this will multiply everything here. So two also multiply everything here. Two so two multiply everything here. And as well also multiplies everything here. But if you look at the bracket we are having here, this is this. And the denominator is also the denominator. Look at the denominator. What can you say about the, the bracket, the two denominator, the denominator here, the two bracket? What can you say about it? I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. Look at the denominator. What does it mean? What, what, what does it look like? It's a different of two squares. It was different of two squares, just like uh, this. The different of what two squares. So you can apply this uh, this uh, different of two squares to solve the to solve this denominator. Instead of opening bracket one after the other, you can just apply the the rule of different of two squares to it by saying this one square minus four squared. So you can see what you have done here. Instead of multiplying straight. So multiply this one by this one, this one by this one, this one by this one, this one by this one. This one, by this one. Then you can multiply. You can use different of two square to do it. It will shorten your. It will shorten you to preserve your time. But if you multiply it small small as well, you are going to get the same answer. I'm not saying you are not going to get it. You are going to get the same answer. But this one will speed up your work. Then what about the numerator? The numerator is not a perfect. It's not a different of two square. So that means you multiply normally. You know, multiply out the bracket normally. By saying two times two sort two give us a uh, two times two give us four, then four times sort two give us a uh, four sort two, then two times uh, four here will give us plus eight, then sort two times two sort two, what is sort two times sort two give us two times two give us a uh, four as well, 
then you're having saw two times four that gives us a four saw two you can see what you have gotten here as well so here you can uh, collect light times eight plus four will give us a uh, twelve does that make any sense to you then we can add four saw two plus four saw two together because they are having the same sword so four saw two plus saw two will give us eight saw two over what is saw two squared if you remember that means two, saw two in two places if you remember what it means so that means saw two in two places two times two give us four then saw two times saw two give us two four times two give us a uh, eight i hope you understand what i've done there then what is four squared that give us 16 so then we have eight minus 16 then from there you'll be having uh 12 plus 8 or 2 over minus 8 if you simplify this you cannot leave an answer like this now we can do something together something is common to up and down i think uh, 4 is common you can factorize 4 out here and this minus will come to the front here because you cannot leave minus at the denominator no so minus comes out here then you can factorize 4 out here so 4 if you factorize 4 out of 12 you have a 3 inside plus but the for a year, you have a 2, so 2 left over 8. 4 can take care of 8 year. Then you have a 3 plus 2, so 2 over 2 left. Because 4 in 8 will give us 2. The minus is outside. So when I rationalize, when you solve this question, you have this. Do you understand? If you do, let's do this together as well. Now, you're having 2, so 5 plus so 3 over 3, so 5 minus so 3. Also, you should know that uh, you need to rationalize this as well. Why? Because the denominator is in sort form. Isn't it? Good. And how do you rationalize this? Because you have a minus something also. What do you do? You find the conjugate of the denominator. And what is the conjugate of the denominator? That will be 3 sort 5 plus sort 3. That's the conjugate of this. So you now use that to multiply up and down. So you have this next... Uh, uh, thing written here this one is see the same question here so if that should be the case now that means you now multiply out the denominator then you apply the loss of uh, difference of two square to the denominator because you can see that everything here is the same thing but plus and minus is the difference so you can apply the loss of different of two squares so i help you to put in brackets so that it will help you here and every uh, put, uh, put in brackets as well the same thing what you're having here is equal so you can open the bracket in the numerator let's go do that two times three give us six then so five times so five will give us a five five times six will give us what thirty do you understand then two sort five times uh, so three so so three times so, so five give us sort fifteen times two give us a uh, two sort fifteen do you understand that too then so three will multiply three sort five as well then that should give us a so three times so five give us fifteen. Sorry, so we give us so fifteen rather. So fifteen times three give us a three so fifteen as well. Then so three times so three give us plus three. Over apply law of different of two square here. Different of two square that will be three so five squared minus so three squared. Do you understand that? Then you can collect light times a thirty plus three will give us a thirty three. Then so. 2 sort 15 plus 3 sort 15. Can we add them together? As the answer the question, yes. Because you're having the same sort. 2 sort 15 plus 3 sort 15 give us a uh, 5 sort 15. Then look at the denominator. We're having 3 sort 5 squared. That means 3 sort 5 in two places. Multiply them together. So what is 3 times 3? 9. So 5 times sort 5 will give us 5. Then 9 times 5 will give us a uh, 45. Then so 3 square will give us 3. 45 minus 3 will give us a 42. Then here you have 33 plus 5 sort 5. We cannot add this together. It's not possible. So that means this is the answer for this question number uh, B. Let's further, let's move further to question number C. Let's look at this question as well. It's very interesting. You are having this fraction, then squared it. And if you look at the fraction, the denominator is in sort form. It's quite easy and simple, but some people can say that uh, you can, you know, there are different ways of solving this question. I can decide, you know, this one is you have everything here squared. I can decide to open uh, this one, means everything inside the bracket in two places. You know that good, so you can do that and multiply out, but that will be cumbersome. You can even make mistake. Then the 
easier w the easiest way or the smarter way of doing is that I look at the the bracket forget about this fra uh, square force look at the bracket it's a fraction and the denominator is in sort form isn't it good so that means you rationalize can rationalize this bracket and uh, by finding the conjugate of the denominator isn't it so what's the conjugate of the denominator that will be 2 sort 2 minus sort 3 so now you need to multiply up and down so that's what we have written here then the square is still there this is the fraction and the question times uh, they use the conjugate of the fraction the denominator to multiply up and down so from there like we know this bracket will multi this multiply this then this will multiply this but we know that the denominators are different of two squares look at it then you can now apply the different of two square then that will be two sort two square minus sort three squared then you multiply out the the numerator because they are not different of two square then if you do that let's see we have two sort two times two sort two two times two will give us four so two times or two will give us uh, two two times four will give us eight do we understand that then two sort two multiplies minus or three that should give us a minus two sort six if you look at it critically also minus or three will multiply two sort two here that should give us minus two sort six as well then minus times minus will give us plus so three times or three give us a uh, three over two sort two square that should give us eight do you understand how we got that this is two sort two in two places should give us eight then so three square will give us a uh, three do we understand that now then here you can take like times that will be 11 plus 3 that should give us sorry 8 plus 3 rather that should give us 11 can we so can we simplify this two sort minus two sort six minus two sort six what would that give us let me pause for you what will it give us minus two sort six minus two sort six you are owing somebody two nera and you are owing some the same person two nera how much are you owing the person that will be four so you are having minus four sort six over five eight minus three is what five so you, are, you can see that uh, we are now having this uh fraction now but the denominator is not in it's not in sort form again so you don't rationalize again but you can see that you're having a bracket square that means everything here in two places that's what you're having here right now and can now multiply them out does that make any sense to us good so this will multiply this 5 will multiply 5 so 5 times 5 will give us 25 then 11 times 11 will give us 121 11 times minus 4 sort 6 that should give us a minus 44 sort 6 then also we have minus 4 sort 6 times 11 here that should give us minus 44 sort 6 then minus 4 sort 6 times minus 4 sort 6 minus times minus will give us a plus 4 times 4 will give us a 16 then sort 6 times sort 6 will give us 6 16 times 6 will give us a 96 do we understand good if you understand then we can take like time 121 plus 96 will give us 217 can we add these two sort minus 44 sort 6 minus 44 sort 6 what would that give us you are holding somebody minus 44 sort 6 you see go to that person and see borrow minus 44 sort 6 how much are you how, what are you owing the person minus 88 sort 6 over 25 so there's nothing we can do to this one now you cannot factorize anything here there's nothing that's common that can cancel the de denominator so that means this is the solution to that question number c as well do we understand please okay if you understand good if you don't understand please go back and uh, review it again let's look at the next uh, question this is a y pass question as well it's related to what you have just done so that's why we are solving it you are having simplified three over 3 minus or 2 plus 1 over 3 plus or 2 leaving your answer in the form a plus b so 2 so and uh, this second question you are going there very soon it's very simple based on what you have done so far i believe you should be able to do it but let's discuss it together now the first a part 3 uh, 2 over 3 so 2 plus 1 over 3 plus or 2 you can see that look at this one this is a fraction and the denominator is in sort form it's another fraction and the denominator is also in sort form so that means you can rationalize this plus you can also rationalize this as well does that make any sense to you good if it does so how do you rationalize this one that you find the conjugate of you find the conjugate of this denominator and that should be what i think 3 plus so 2 so now you use it to multiply up and down so that's what you're having here right now do you understand that plus What's the conjugate of this denominator as well? 
that should be three minus or two you know you to multiply up and down as well that's what you have in here i hope i'm i hope you are clear it's very simple you should be glad you should be happy it's very simple then what do you do now then this two multiply this then one will multiply this as well but if you look at this one and this one these are the two different of two squares you can apply that this is also different of two square you can also apply the different of two square there as well so let's do that two times three will give us six two times so two will give us a two so two then here you'll be having three square that'll give us nine you have minus you're having so two square that'll give us two plus one multiply the denominator one times three will give us three one times minus two will give us minus two over we also apply the front of two square to the denominator here we have three square that was we what nine minus you have a so two square that'll give us a two I hope you understand that good so nine minus two nine minus two give us seven seven here then we can now find the lcm isn't it or the lcm of this you have a fraction plus another fraction that's lcm that'll give us seven then this in seven seven in seven give us one one times numerator that give us six plus two so two plus seven in seven as well that'll give us one one times three minus seven to two one minus uh seven in seven is one as well then one times three minus so two will give us uh uh three minus so two then from there we can say simplify further then we can collect like times here six plus three will give us a nine two so two minus so two so two minus so two give us a so two because two of these minus one of these that give us one of these so we have nine plus nine plus or two over seven then the question has also leave answer in this format that means you can split this into two or more different sort or two or more different part rather you can split it that should give us nine over seven plus seven so two over two no, seven, so two over seven rather pardon me so we have nine over seven plus so two over seven so so please give me when you split that sorry for the time wasted when you split that you have a uh, nine over seven plus so two over seven that is uh, the solution to this uh, question about the a part now the b part let's go back find the integer integers m and n such that uh, we are having this bracket multiplying this bracket is equal to 2 minus so 2 but you look at this one is having uh, power uh, 2 or squared so we have to find the value of our m and n here when this one multiplied this is equal to this let me give you a minute how do you think you want to approach this question how do you think you approach it it's quite simple it's quite simple now let's see, look at it together you have to solve this equals to this so and uh, we have to find the value of our m and n so you know that uh, look at this bracket this one here one minus or two squared you should know that this one means this one in two brackets and what you're having here right now so if you can open this bracket here you have a uh, one times one will give us one then one times minus two one, one times minus or two we give up minus or two minus or two times one will give us minus or two then so minus or two times of minus or two will give us a plus two then is equals to uh if you simplify this bracket further two plus one will give us three minus or two minus or two will give us minus two so two so technically this answer for this one minus or two squared is this three minus or two so we are having this and you are still having this so we can replace this one back here equals to this do we understand that so that what you're having here so m plus n so two which is this the answer of this one is this is what we got here we have expanded this in two places that what it gave us this so we return it back here equals to two so two do we understand that now now what do we do we can see that this one is multiplying this so we can divide our aim is to find this and this we can di divide both sides by this bracket 
if you divide both sides by this bracket, you'll be having n plus n sub 2, which is this one left, equals to this divided by this. Are we there? Which I believe you understand what you have done there. So you look at it critically again. We can divide both sides by this bracket. So as you have this bracket left, so you have 2 minus or 2 over 3 minus or 2 sub 2. So if you look at the left hand side, you can see that the, 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 we have in a fraction and the denominator is in sort form. Isn't it? So that means what can we do to this? We can do, we can rationalize it. When we rationalize, we can you can use this, uh, the conjugate of this denominator to multiply up and down. And what is the conjugate of this uh, denominator? That should be 3 plus 2 sub 2. Isn't it? Good. So then we, I left this one first and I'll simplify this one. I work on this one. So we have 2 sub 2, sorry, 2 minus sub 2 over 3 minus 2 sub 2 which is this question we are solving, this one we are solving right now. You now multiply it up and down by the conjugate, which is this. Then let's multiply it out. The bracket, this, we we'll multiply this, then this, the base here, divided by two squares. So that means I have three squared, that would be nine. Then I have two, so two squared, that should give us eight. Because two times two will give us four. Then so two times two will give us two. Two times two, four will give us eight, so minus eight. Then let's multiply the numerator here, two times, 3 will give us 6, 2 times 2 sub 2 will give us a 4 sub 2, minus sub 2 times 3 will give us a minus 3 sub 2, then minus sub 2 times plus 2 sub 2, that will give us minus, so 2 times sub 2 will give us 2, times 2 will give us 4, so we get minus 4. So in this case, if you simplify for that, we have 6 minus 4, that should give us, a, uh, 6 minus 4 will give us a 2. Then here you're having uh, 4 sub 2 minus 3 sub 2. What do you think that will give us? 4 sub 2 minus 3 sub 2. What do you think it will give us? That should give us sub 2. 4 ball minus 3 ball. That should give us 1 ball, which is sub 2. Over 9 minus 8 to give us 1. So this divided by 1 will give us this. 2 plus sub 2. So that means the answer to this left hand side is uh, 2 plus sub 2. So that means I can go back and write it as uh, n plus n sub 2 is equals to this answer which is 2 sub 2 are we there do we understand what i have done there so we cannot compare both sides you can see that everything you have in here look at, look like this as well so that means m will be 2 then our n is the coefficient of this sub 2 what the coefficient of this sub 2 here so which is what 1 so our n is equal to 1 here and our m is equal to 2 here so therefore our m is 2 and our n is 1. So that's the solution to that y question. It's the solution to that y what question. So if you understand what how to rationalize sort with this conjugate, then you can attempt this uh, assignment number 6 on the, the solution to or we have talked about on the how to find the conjugate of a uh, sort. Now you can lay your hands on these three questions and uh, try them out. They are very, very simple if you understand what you have explained so far. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, your perseverance. I hope you have been able to learn one or two things concerning SOD. It is not more than that. But if it's for further mathematics question, then there are a little small, small things that could be added. So, this is the basic of our uh, SOD. And I believe you have learned one or two things on it. So if you are before we go, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscribe button right now. You can like, you can click on the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever we post video on this platform. And also share the video with your colleague in other schools and who are not on this platform that may want to benefit from what you are doing on this uh, platform. And I, I will see you in the next video. And I do so. May the good Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.